Thank you, Jörg. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In a very real way, I feel like coming home after a long journey. I'm not talking about Stockholm, although this is a beautiful city. I'm talking about the journey to finally presenting the concept of a Mercedes-Benz pickup tonight. This is an emotional evening for me for two reasons. First, I simply love the concept of a pickup. Second, I truly dislike blank spots in our portfolio. So, first of all, what do I love about pickups? Throughout my career, I had many touch points with pickups without them ever really showing up at Mercedes. I spent some of the most exciting years of my career in Brazil and Argentina, where pickups have a strong history. So strong that our Mercedes-Benz Argentina branch actually was first to seriously approach a Mercedes pickup back in the 70s. The result is one of my favorite Mercedes cars of all times, with probably the best nickname ever. The Mercedes 220D pickup, better known as La Pickup. I simply love La Pickup. And I remember seeing some of these cars out on the streets during my time in South America in the late 80s. I guess it wasn't exactly the toughest pickup ever from a technological point of view. And it wasn't a great success from an economic point of view either. But it grew a huge fan base. Many people shared my fascination for Mercedes pickup since that time. Some even got creative. Just Google the words Mercedes and pickup and you'll find the weirdest things. Here are two quite nice do-it-yourself examples inspired by La Pickup. Those two were handcrafted by our very own Mercedes apprentices, one in Keshkemet, one in Düsseldorf. And I think our young talent did a great job on them. Yet they will strictly remain unique copies. Later in my career, when I worked at Daimler Trucks North America, pickup trucks were also an issue. But we meant the really big ones. When I moved on to what was then the Chrysler Group in Detroit, the pickups grew smaller, at least a little smaller. Full-size pickups had long made up a huge part of the business in the North American market. And we had long discussions about how much luxury and comfort we could add to pickups while still keeping them pickups. From those days, I recall talking to a tough old ranger about the difference between a pickup and a car. He told me a pickup is something you can haul cow crab in more than once. As you can see, I came across a variety of pickups during my career. None of which really serves as a blueprint for Mercedes-Benz premium pickup. But that is what we are here for today. When developing this concept, our ambitions were high. Mercedes-Benz pickup has to be best in class in many disciplines. Safety, quality, design, durability, just to name a few. After all, it will carry some of the finest DNA in the market. Mercedes introduced the G-Wagon more than 30 years ago. The legend of cross-country capability and toughness. We invented premium SUVs with the M-Class in the late 90s. With more than 4 million Mercedes SUVs sold, this is still one of the most dynamic segments up to this day. And now, together with a strong partner, we will finally manage to make the Mercedes-Benz pickup a proud and worthy member of our lineup. Renault Nissan will provide over 80 years of experience in producing mid-sized pickups. And Mercedes is throwing in all of our off-road and on-road expertise. In this combination, a mid-sized Mercedes pickup will both be highly competitive and a reasonable package for our customers. And an attractive business case for us. Furthermore, the timing is right. The mid-sized pickup segment in particular is booming in many countries around the world. Forecasts see a growth potential of close to 800,000 units up to a total of 2.8 million by 2025. That perspective turns it into one of the most attractive targets on a global scale right now. On top, 
the segment is undergoing a major transformation. Pickups have ever since been loved for hauling and doing the dirty jobs. That's what they are great for. Yet, as a rather new perception, more and more people in various markets also consider pickups, like SUVs, as lifestyle vehicles. They represent even more toughness and flexibility. Plus, they are cool, raw and stand out of the crowd. As a consequence, customers are looking for pickups with car-like attributes, ready for landscapes as well as cityscapes. Like most of us, a pickup can work hard and get dirty during the day and still clean up fairly well for the evening. We believe that the love for pickups will literally pick up in many markets. And we want to be a driving force in this development. To me, there is no manufacturer better positioned than we are to make a pickup a highly attractive choice for customers, no matter if they want to tow boats, shovel snow or appear at the Opera House. Best of all, they can carry just about whatever they want, and more than once. It feels great to see our portfolio growing and completing. A pickup really was missing. So it is time now to leave the stage to Volker Morningweg, who will give you more details. Thank you. Volker. Okay.